Hello Jaco! In one of the previous videos I showed you how to make your own stylized film credits in DaVinci Resolve, but when it comes to the animation I didn't do the best job, because the animation could be flickering, so I'll show you how to fix that. Now let's get digital. So in the previous video I made this example of the stylized film credits, but I didn't have a lot of text so the issue was not visible. But in this example I have a lot of text, so the issue will be visible, at least to me and hopefully to you as well. So I'll simply make a new fusion composition, put it onto a timeline, I'll have to extend it, how long this will be I have no idea, for now I'll just put it like so, now I need some text, I'll just go to my google sheets, and as you can see these are all of the topics, well most of them, that I make, from my youtube videos. Now in the fusion composition, I'll add the text node, Put the text in, connect it and scale it down, maybe 0 0.04, maybe even less and set this to light. So I have quite a bit of text, I'll put this all the way down. Now as I showed you in the previous video, you can simply keyframe the first value, go to the end, position this to the top and you will have the animation. But the issue with that approach is that the animation will be fast or slow depending on how long the fusion composition is. So how to make the animation officially by DaVinci Resolve? I'll just put this back to the center position. We don't need the transfer node, just as I've used it in the previous video, you'll put this all the way down, like so. But what you have to do is click on reference size and enable auto resolution. Now when you enable the auto resolution, these two values, the width and the height, will be the same as the values that you set in the project settings. So if you want a different resolution, we'll have to change the project settings. Now when it comes to the animation of the transfer node, the most important thing is that you use whole values. So in this case, I'll just round it down to zero. With the transfer selected, I'll just select the text so we can actually see where the text is. So it's just below the main screen, now with the transfer selected, position yourself where you want the animation to start, I'll go to frame 50, keyframe the center position and make sure that the y value is a whole number, so you don't have any decimals. This value should be just 0.0. Then go one frame forward, so in my case frame 51, and set this value to 2 or 3 pixels less. I'll choose 3 pixels. So this will be 27. Now to continue this animation on, each frame being 3 pixels less, we'll go to the spline, displacement, click zoom to fit, select both points and choose set relative. And this will make the animation continue moving on. So this is how the animation looks like. Now will the animation finish when we come to the end of this fusion clip? It looks like it won't. So in that case, extend the fusion composition. Now if you've selected 3 pixels and the animation doesn't look good, you can also come back to the second keyframe that you've set and change this value to be 2 pixels less, so 28. In this case the animation will be longer, as you can see, but also slower. Now this is a solution that DaVinci Resolve provides, but what you can also do, with the transfer node selected, you can go to the settings, enable the motion blur, set the quality to 10, I'll zoom in, just so you can see how this looks, and set the shutter angle to 360, and this should make the animation even smoother. Just like that. Now DaVinci Resolve has a lot of guides, the one that comes with the software is the reference manual, since the version 18.5 is still in beta, I actually don't think this one comes with the beta, it comes with the full release, so you'll have to find it online. You also have the colorist guide and the fusion or the visual effects guide, which is where you'll find the film credits. If you go to page 156, you'll have making credit rolls. But in my opinion, this approach is still not the best, as I could still see some of the film credits flickering. 
and let me know in the comments down below which method is better and if you also saw any flickering. One will be the normal animation using this approach with two pixels and the other one will be using this method with two pixels and also the motion blur enabled. And this is how you can make a smooth animation for the filling credits in DaVinci Resolve, but you should wait for the fusion composition to render out so the animation actually looks smooth. And if you found this video helpful, you know what to do. I'm Simon, and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.